What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome to another unboxing video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2017 April Power Geek Box. I actually got this box the day that I left for my vacation, so it has been sitting here fairly long. So let's go ahead and check out what they have in it. If you're interested in getting this box, I will go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. This box is like exploding full of stuff. I don't know what's in it, but the box is like very bulgy. All right. Oh, that's why. Okay. So the first item we have is a Harley Quinn Fabrications. I feel like this might be a little bit old because I, I haven't seen Fabrications in a while and I, I just assume they stopped making them. This line was supposed to be like really fancy plushies from Funko. They're very cool but I don't know if these were worth the original price point. When they first came out they were like $30. Then they dropped to $20 and now I don't even know what they sell for. But this is a cool item. I probably won't be wanting to keep this but this will go in the giveaway. I have some really fantastic Harley Quinn stuff that I've been saving up. I think I'm going to create a box to potentially sell on my website. I'm trying to get that all together guys for you. I'm, I'm working on it. The next item we have is a, a Street Fighter Pixel Bricks of Ken. I have received so many of these in the past. I don't know what box I've received them in, but I've literally received so many of these and I have so many of Ken specifically. But it's basically like one of those little mini build kits, like mini Legos and you make a little figure. I like these a lot. I just always get these Street Fighter ones. I don't know why. Next, we have, it looks like a coin purse, and it looks like it's from Alice in Wonderland. I don't know if it's specifically from Alice in Wonderland. It's trademarked under Wonderland, or it's licensed under a com uh, something called Wonderland, which makes me, and it has a rabbit, and this looks like something from Alice in Wonderland, but this is a coin purse. I think has that, is that a rabbit? I don't I don't know. I don't really remember. It says, we're all mad here. It's the Mad Hatter. And it says, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. So, oh, is that like the book? Is that what the book's title? So this is a cotton canvas purse. This is really nice. That's what I'm going to say about this. I don't carry around coin purses. It's a little bit big, I feel like, for a coin purse, but, but I guess everyone's purses are really big nowadays, so I guess it doesn't matter. But this is a really cool item. Like, I've received a few things that are Alice in Wonderland related, and they're usually pretty cool. I probably could put an Alice in Wonderland box together. I've gotten some cool pocket watches and whatnot, but this is a really, I like this. I wish I was more of a Wonderland fan, or even a coin purse fan. I think if I like coin purses in general, I would like this. I don't really use coin purses all that much. I don't really carry around that many coins, but that's a really cool product. I really enjoy that. It's good quality. Next we have emergency hip flask. It says drink in a, in case of emergency. I don't like how on the back it says thirst aid for gentlemen. Why? Oh, this is from a from gentlemen's club. That's what this company's called. I mean, why it only got to be emergency for gentlemen? Why can't it be for everyone? So, it's a flask. It's a red flask. It's just your I think your average flask and there's nothing that special about it drink. I've literally, I've received a lot of flasks. I had this external hard drive that looked like a flask, but it wasn't. It was an external hard drive. I've never even used a flask, but this is cool. Next, we have a Mega Man mystery figure. I am not going to open this because I, I don't collect Mega Man things, and I know there's so many of you guys out there that do, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my giveaway slash for sale and try to figure out where that can go. But this is a mystery figure, and you can collect one of ten of these. It's a backpack hanger, too. Should we open it? Okay, let's open it. I'll open it just to show you, and then I'll just put it back and give it to somebody. Okay, we got this person. I have no idea who this is. Their eyes look very, very intense. So it's a backpack clip. It has the little plastic clip. I love backpack hangers. I don't like how they always give it to us with a plastic clip. I feel like these break really easily, but I don't know. I guess even if it was metal, it probably would break easily as well. Next, we got punched out pencil toppers. I would be excited about these, except for I've definitely received these before as well. I don't know in what box I received these in, if it was this box or a different box, but I have received these. I'll probably put this in my, um, in my prize box at work, because the kids still use pencils. So it has erasers on the top that look like punching gloves. Boxing gloves. I said punching gloves. 
Next we have this item that's wrapped in tissue paper. They don't usually wrap their items in tissue paper, so that's interesting. Oh, it's a Wonderland notebook. So this is another Wonderland item. I don't know what line this is. Like, it's obviously from Alice in Wonderland, but it, this this line is very fancy, and I must say that I, I enjoy the quality of the two items that I got from this set. This is from Palidone, and it's in the little notebook. The cover is not, like, it's a hardback, but it has, like, a... I don't know, just like a normal book cover. And then when you open it up, there's lined pages that have some like kind of Alice in Wonderland designs around it. So that's very cool. We have a Batman ball opener. Again, I've actually received this item as well. So this box is cool. There's a lot of items. I just feel like I've received a lot of these items, not specifically in this box, but just within some other box. I really like this though, so I'm not going to complain. This is a really cool item. I think T wanted this the last time I got it, and I was like, no, because I wanted it. So maybe this one can go to T. And then the last item is our shirt. It is a licensed shirt. It's Oh, it's a Star Wars shirt. It's a men's medium, which is good because this shirt is getting a little bit small. This is a black shirt. Oh, I love these kind of shirts. Yes! I've seen a couple of these. I want to say I saw one with a droid before, and it was hilarious. So it's Expressions of Vader, and it just basically has nine pictures of Vader, and they're all the same, and then it's like angry, happy, sad, sleepy, confused, cheerful, frustrated, excited, proud. Like, I absolutely love this shirt. And this is a licensed Star Wars shirt. That's the one cool thing about this box is that they always give us licensed shirts, like the shirts that you would buy at the store, which is really cool. All right, that's all of the items in the box. We did get quite a lot of items, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. All right, first item we have is our Batman bottle opener. I probably would give this anywhere from, I don't know, like five to six dollars, I would say. Um, well, let's go ahead and give it 550. Punched out pencils. I would probably, these are like some kind, this is from Paladon, so it's like a legit item. These are basically like the novelty items that you get for desks. I would probably give this maybe four or five dollars. It is really nice. Like everything about this is nice. I just wouldn't necessarily buy this. Let's go ahead and give that four dollars. Mega Man backpack clip, I'll go ahead and give that four dollars as well. We might actually be able to give that five. Let's give it five. I think it's more like five. This Wonderland notebook. I really enjoy this. I think it's really, really nice. I would probably say that this is worth at least eight or nine dollars. This is like a really nice little notebook. There's just something about like the quality is just really nice. Let's go ahead and give it 850 because I think nine might be a little bit high, but I really do enjoy that one. We have our Star Wars shirt. That's going to get $12 because it's licensed. We have our coin purse. Honestly, I would totally give this thing $10. I really enjoy this. I don't know what this... Designed in the UK. Oh, this is a UK product. There's just something about this coin purse that I really like. Um, I don't know if $10 is too high. Let's go ahead and give it 9 I do really enjoy it, though. The hip flask, I probably would give that, like, six. That's another novelty item. Street Fighter bricks, I'd probably give that five. And then the fabrications, um, I would say anywhere from 10 to 15. I don't know exactly where these are being priced at right now, but like I said, when they first came out, they were 30, and then they kind of turned into 20. Does her head turn? Oh, their heads turn. That's so, isn't this kind of creepy? Look, I turned her, I turned her head around. I better turn it back. Turn it back. Turn it back. Uh, let's go ahead and give it 13. Let's go in between the two prices. All right, so according to my pricing, this box is worth $68. That seems kind of high for this box. I don't know if I overpriced things, but let's go see how much we paid for it. This box cost $40 a month. We got $28 extra value on top of what we paid for. For this box, we're looking for about $13 extra value, about $12.50. So we definitely hit that because we got $28. I will say that, and I don't know if it's just for this month or what happened, first of all what I'm going to say is that's a, an extraordinary amount of value for this box specifically. This box rarely gets that much extra value so I'm pretty impressed. The other thing I'm impressed about is that there's like a ton of items in this box. I don't know if we even get this many items. So I don't know if it's just this month they, they changed it up a little bit. Um, one of the, the downsides, I guess, is that I, I have received a lot of these items within other boxes. 
But if you're not like me and you're not if you're not subscribed to like 40 different boxes Then it really doesn't matter. I don't think you're gonna really run into that problem as much You know you always get some duplicate items. That's just part of the game But I must say that I'm very impressed with the items in the box and the value Now a lot of you guys are gonna watch this and be like what the heck this box is so all over the place and that is true This box is always a little bit all over the place, but I actually liked it this one I love the items that we got the quality of the items, the amount of the items, the value of the items. In general, I just like this box a lot. My favorite items, I really like the shirt. I really like the Wonderland products. I'm not even a huge Alice in Wonderland fan, but the two Wonderland products that we got are really, really, really cool. Like, I just think that the, the, um, the quality of the items is really nice. You know, I receive a lot of stuff, and it's rare for me to be very, like, excited or just impressed with the quality of items and I definitely am impressed with the quality of these items. If I had to rate this box, to be honest, I would actually give this box a 5 out of 5 nudes. I love the types of items. These are all licensed products which you always get from this box. There's a ton of items. It got really good value. I think that this box deserves a 5. I actually really like all of the items in this box. I mean like the Mega Man thing is kind of whatever. I have a need for all of these. I don't have a need but I have somewhere to put all of these items. So it makes it worth it to me but it just depends on what your thoughts are I think a more average rating for this box would be like a 4.5 out of 5 noobs but I like all the items I just think it's a good box I love the amount of items I just like every I wish that all boxes were like this like this box was jam-packed full of stuff licensed products good value I just yeah I think it's really good so I'm gonna give this box a 5 out of 5 noobs. This might be the first 5 that I've ever given this box, so I'm pretty impressed. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. This was different. This is like abnormal. I'm wondering if, I don't know if they've made changes. I'm not quite sure, but I am very impressed and happy with the items that I got in this box. So I'm happy with it this month. So let me know what you guys thought about it. Again, there were some items that I've received in other boxes in the past, but they're good items and you know, it happens. So I can't really judge it super based off of that, unless they were the ones that sent me those items, which I don't think they were. I don't really know. But let me know down below what you guys thought about it. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which may or may not be coming up right now. I'm not quite sure. I hope that you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!